Okay, yeah, good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. Okay, okay, so now uh, we will start our video, our vlogs with regards to the um, what they call this to the request. Okay, of uh, some of my friends as well as some of the mothers requesting for the for the lecture of their children. Okay, so punta natin ngayon ang division of decimals. Okay, so let's uh, first. Pagtari ko lang ulit dito, ha? Okay? So, sabi natin, sa Santiago, chapter 1, verse 5, okay? So, to all of you children, as well as sa mga magulang, to all of us who lacks knowledge, okay? Just ask it from the Lord in prayer, and He will give us to us sufficiently. Kung sino man ang nangangailangan ng talino, o nagkukulang ng talino, ang karunungan, hilingin sa Panginoon at siya ay magbibigay ng sapat-sapat at uh, hindi manunumbat okay so now let's uh, let's start with your with your uh, what you call this with your lesson this is we call the what you call division of decimals okay okay so let's try this one we have here 50s um 38 okay divide by 12.2 okay so if this is 38 divide by 12.2 so ang gawin natin ngayon gawin natin itong 1 2 2 start tayo ng 1 2 2 kasi yun yung magiging divisor natin eh okay so magawin ninyo ngayon plus ulit kayo dito so, sabi ko sa inyo kung sa tingin niyo makakatulong ito sa mga bata okay gawin natin ito in the most easiest way that we can. Okay, so gawin natin ngayon. Dito, yung una ninyo, yung nilalagay yung number 1. Dito, yung pangalawa, yung nagawin yung number 2. Ito yung pangatlo. Ito yung pangapat. Ito yung panglima. Okay, so pwede nyo gawin hanggang 10. Okay, so 2 plus 2, 4. 2 plus 2 again, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, I forgot pala. Habang nagle-lecture si Ate Glo, sabayan ninyo, you get your pencil, or ah, you get your uh, your ball pen, as well as your notebook. Tapos sabayan ninyo yung ginagawa ni Ate Glo. Para noon, makita ninyo papano. Not just uh, by watching me, not just by listening to me. Better, if you can get your ball pen, kuha ninyo yung ball pen ninyo, tapos sabayan ninyo yung ginagawa ni Ate Glo. Okay, para noon, pagkatapos ng video na, cho, na to, uh, there is the assurance that, uh, not just because uh, napanood nyo lang you gained, it is much better na napanood ninyo nasundan ninyo, nagawa ninyo natutunan ninyo, so after this vlog hopefully you can make it on your own okay, so now, so 4 plus 2 that is now 6 4 plus 2 again is 6 and then 2 plus 1 is 3, okay and then another 1, 6 plus 2 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8 and then 3 plus 1 is 4 8 plus 2 is 10, carry 1, 10, 11, carry 1, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so yan na. So, pinapakita lang natin sa inyo yan. But, you can make it as, uh, what you call this, as much as up to number 10. Okay, now with this one. Okay, so from here, okay, so from here, ang gagawin natin ngayon, we have our decimal point here. Then, we'll just have to move it here. Okay. Then, dito naman, add kayo ng dalawang zero. Okay, hanggang dalawang zero, ha? Now, since nag-add kayo ng dalawang zero, you have to put it here, point. Dahil nag-move tayo dito ng one, eto, imo-move nyo rin dito ng one. etong pag-move na to ngayon, itaas nyo ngayon doon. Okay, so maliwanag, ha? Okay, next. The next thing that you're going to do is for you to look. Okay, dito na tayo yan, ha? Sa 38, ilan ang one, ha? One, ang 12.2 wala. Okay, so ito, itaas natin. So, sabi niya, wala. Okay, nothing. Okay, ah, uh, sa 38 pala, dito pala, wala. Sorry, sorry, ha? Okay, now, so, sa 380, ilan ng 122? 380, ayun no, meron tayo doon ng 3. Okay? Okay, 3. Okay, wala ba? Okay. So, yan, 3. So, ano katapat ng 3? 3, 6, 6. Lagyan nyo yung dito. 3, 6, 6. Bawas natin. So, 0 minus 8. Hindi pwede. That cannot be. So, we have to borrow from 8. So, si 8, 
magiging 7. Ito, magiging 10. So, 10 minus 4, ay, 10 minus 6, that is 4. 7 minus 6 is 1. Ito ngayon, ibaba ninyo. Okay, so, so 140, ilan ang 122? Definitely, isa lang. Lagay nyo dito yung 1. Okay. So, ngayon, 1 times 22, ano katapat? 122. Bawas natin ngayon. 0 minus 2 cannot be. Hindi pwede. Hilang tayo kay 4. Si 4 magiging 3. Ito magiging 10. 10 minus 2, that is 8. Okay? 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay? So, ito na yan. 3.1, okay? Remainder, 18. Okay? Kasi dito, nag-add na tayo ng dalawang 0. Okay? So, ito lang, para lang maipakita natin sa inyo na paano na gagawin ito ng mga bata. Okay? Now, we just have to check this one. So, this is now 3.1. Okay? So, tingnan natin na how are we going to check it. Okay? Okay. So, this is now 12 1 to 2 times 3.1 Okay? So, latis method kagad tayo, ha? Okay? Para noon, mabilis kayo. At the same time, masanay kayo mga bata, ha? Okay? So, this is it. Okay? Okay. Paano gawin natin ngayon? Lagyan natin ito ngayon dito. Hatiin natin. Okay? Okay. So, this is now 1 times 2. This is now 2. 1 times 2, dito pa rin 2. Lagay nyo dito sa baba ang sagot, ha? 1 times 1, that is 1. So, dito, lahat dito, puro 0. So, 3 times 2, it is now 6. 3 times 2, it is now 6. 3 times 1, that is now 3. Okay. So, i-add na natin ngayon pa baba. Okay. So, this is now 2. 6 plus 2, it is now 8. 6 plus, okay, 6 plus 1. This is now 7. And then, meron tayo dito 3 sa gilid. Okay. Okay. Maglalag ba? Ayan o. So, 3, 7, 8, 2. Meron tayo ngayon remainder na 18. Then, you have to add it. Okay. So, 3, 7, 8, 2 plus 18. Tingnan natin. So, 2 plus 8. It is now 10. Carry 1. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10. Again. And then, carry 1. So, 7 plus 1 is 8. And then, 3. Okay. So, yun yung decimal point niya. Oh. So, dito is, aha, uh -huh, from here is 1. Okay? From here is 1. Ayun, oh. Diba? Ito yan, oh. Kita nyo itong decimal point na to. Okay? So, that is, papunta dito. That is, sabi niya, diba? 3.1. Okay, pag ano, oh. Diba? Okay? So, dito ngayon, balik tayo. 1. Okay? So, ayun siya. Ayun, oh. So, 380.0. 380.0. Okay? So, nakuha niya. So, ito yun na. This is how are you going to divide the decimal. Okay, now, illustrate natin. What do you call this one? This one is the dividend. Okay? Dividend. Okay? Ito ngayon, you call this one the divisor. Ito, ito ito yung divisor natin, ha? And then, you call this one, the answer in division, we call this one the quotient. Okay? Now, what do you call the operation? The operation is the division. Then, what is the sign? Ito yan. The sign is divide. So, that is 5 points, remember? So, what do you call the number to be divided? You call that, asking for divi to be divided, you call that dividend. Ang tawag nyo dito, dividend. Dito, sa i-divide, ang tawag natin dito as, is divisor. Now, what do you call the answer? Ano tawag doon sa sagot? You call it quotient. And then, this one, ito yung divide. Okay? Okay, so, uh, so much for this, ha? So, hopefully, hopefully, sa mga nanay na nagme-message sa akin, maraming maraming salamat po, okay? Sa mga bata naman, <clears throat> sa mga bata naman, uh, I suggest, lagi nyong gawin ito, ha? Lagi nyong gawin ito, Kasi ito yung nakita kong pinaka-effective at talagang napakalaking tulong para dun sa mga hirap, mga hirap na mag-divide, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Para dun sa mga hirap mag-divide and at the same time, 
hindi alam ang gagawin. Kaya inuna natin to eh, ha? Kanina, dun sa problem ninyo, that is 12.2. Okay? So, nandito yan. Andito yung point niyan. Okay? So, pag nalang. Kaya lang, for the purpose lang na may pakita sa inyo na whatever number is given to you, ano mang numero ang maibigay sa inyo, you can do this, ha? Okay? Pwede ninyong gawin ito para lang hindi na kayo mahirapan do sa pagta-times ng direct, eh, di, uh, what you call this, direct, diretso, okay? And then, make sure, as you are adding this one, you put 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, doon sa mga sagot. For it to be easier on you, for you, uh, to, to look kung ano yung sagot. Okay? Okay, so, well, uh, once again, thank you so much for um, uh, staying in my vlogs, for watching my vlogs, continuing my vlogs, okay? And um, if you like, if you like this video presentation, just make a thumbs up um, at um, ipakita natin na you like it, okay? And then, if you want, you can put your comment below para kung ano yung susunod na lecture na gusto ninyong ituro ni Ate Glo, okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, binagala natin, tinagalog natin because we want to be of great help. Gusto nating makatulong sa mga bata as well as sa mga nanay, Okay? Kaya, we make it a point that uh, we do the translation in Tagalog as well as do sa iba nating mga kasama that uh, requesting for an English naman translation para non sabay na kayo, okay? And uh, our main goal in uh, doing these vlogs is for us to be of great help to the students reaching grade 6, uh, making it hard for them to understand about their modules, okay? So, as I'm always telling you, ginagawa natin tong vlogs na ito para matulungan ang mga bata as well as ang mga parents, okay? So, hopefully, these vlogs would be of great help to the students as well as to the parents, okay? Thank you so much!